Hello to you all. Uh, today I'll be heading to the manifold. We are going now to perform a training in regards to uh, training and purging procedures. So I need to put my PPE and off I go. So good morning guys. We have now a training here and we're going to perform the uh, training and purging procedures. It's going to be explained by the uh, cargo engineer and he's going to show us how we need to do it. Okay. Thank you. So, we come to work. We will start to make connection. First, what we need to check pressure inside our line. We will make uh, the pressurize. We open uh, the drain. Release the pressure from inside. Next step is to open uh, blind. To open the pool. And the people from the shore, they will uh, start to connect the shore arm. After, when the, they make alignment, uh, connect the line, they start to supply nitrogen, uh, and we will uh, purge uh, our uh, line with the nitrogen in order to remove oxygen from uh, what coming inside. When uh, they supply nitrogen, we connect here uh, one. Uh, device and uh, slowly open to check content of oxygen when oxygen uh, drop below one uh, percent we can stop in the our line is uh, safety for uh, for operation okay. uh, so this uh, line that you have made is in order to measure the oxygen content oxygen. that's correct yes. but how do we measure the oxygen content i see he is the chief officer can you explain please you start up the uh, device start the device we do a warming up yes we proceed to measurement okay this is multi -system. okay okay and you have to measure that oxygen is below one percent one percent that's good Great. Okay. Let's move ahead. Uh, after uh, finish uh, operation, we should uh, we should remove uh, liquid what coming uh, what uh, remain inside the double shot and the ESD valve. That's the double shot up there, and this is the ESD valve. This one here. So we need to remove the liquid which is inside there. So uh, we close double shot. Uh, after, uh, so sorry this is yes. basically on completion now that you're saying yes, yes. okay so now we've gone to the stage of completion guys if you have not understand before he explains how we connect the manifold so now we have completed the discharging operation or loading operation and now he's explaining the draining procedure on how to drain the manifolds which he said we're going to we are going to close double shot yes uh, after we will open uh, ESD valve and uh, from shore they will supply nitrogen. Okay. When pressure reach uh, around five bar, we will make line up uh, to draw our spray line, pulling down uh, valve, and we will uh, open pulling down valve and send liquid back to cargo tank. Okay. So. Uh, and that's going to connect on the liquid line, correct? On the liquid line. On yes. the liquid line. You don't connect the spray line towards the tank. You can do that, yes, but it's okay. not in our procedures. Yes, but coming to the crossover. Uh, okay, valve. to the crossover valve, which needs also to be opened and connected with the liquid line. Yes. Okay. So uh, we repeat this uh, this uh, process three times. Yes. And after uh, completion, we check uh, for the liquid free. We should check uh, on the drain. Again, we uh, make crack open. Okay. And we will see if coming liquid out. Okay. Which we don't want to come liquid out, of course. <laughs> we need to have the GMI. How many times you do this? At least. At least three times. Okay. In, in order to make it liquid free. Liquid free yes. Okay. And uh, you measure there after with a GMI the content. Okay. Again, yes. how much do we need in order to? Uh, less than one percent. Less than one percent. Yes. Okay. Do you carry with you any uh, portable explosive yes, meter during the operation? And during the operation, do you wear anything appropriate? Do you yes. need to wear something special? Yes. We have uh, cryogenic uh, protection, okay. cryogenic gloves, 
Okay, and all the crew inside here needs to wear that, right? Of course, yes. So if you had an alarm, let's say at 1% of uh, uh, gas in the area, what do you do? Uh, we go away. Okay, so yes. we need to continue the draining uh, and purging of the uh, line. And when it's done, you can proceed, that's right? Yes, correct. Okay, great. So, as I understand, we did the purging, everything's okay, we're liquid free. After the chief officer is okay to complete the custody uh, transfer system, to do a, a completion, we do that. And then, what do we do? Is it important to establish uh, any um, uh, gas burning to the engines or to the GCU or to the liquefaction plant if the vessel has one? Yes. Starting uh, GCU. Uh, come again, come again. Before we disconnect the vapor. Yes. Vapor only one. Uh, we're starting GCU. Okay. GCU uh, yes. or after, relief? After close uh, CTS, we starting GCU and then we proceed to disconnect the vapor. That's okay. And you don't disconnect without getting the master's or permission. Yeah, right. All right? Remember that, guys. So we've got that clear. So then we disconnect. It's very important to be careful that when these are manifolds, these arms are being disconnected, what are we afraid of? Of falling ice. ice. We need to be uh, careful about this. So everybody needs to look after himself. And you have to stay clear away, away clear from the arms. Something that we didn't mention is that before we bring inside the arms to connect in the beginning or before disconnecting them, is we have to start something. What is that something? Water curtain. Water curtain, okay? We have to start the water curtain. So, that's good. All right, why do we start the water curtain? In case of spillage of LNG, the LNG will not touch the ship's hull, okay? And will not make a brittle fracture to the metal. Uh, for this reason, we take out the scoop. Correct. Because other reasons are possible. Okay, um, can a second mate? Hey, Ivan, can you tell me what are those things up there, those firefighting things? This uh, one for the dry powder, powder and uh, one for the water. Okay. This can be operated from the CCR. Okay. And uh, in case of fire at the manifold, the area will be evacuated, but the gun can be still operated from the CCR. It should be pointed at the angle to send the dry powder over the manifolds okay. should be prepared before the port operations and uh, can we operate it here locally yes also we can operate it from here okay great and also from CCR. okay um adrian what is that red box there with it has a green sign on it what is that uh, esd button and what's the purpose of the esd button in case of something uh, have a leakage here in a manifold We'll go direct to the ESD and press. Okay, great. And what will that stop? We'll start the operations? Stop the operation, stop the pump, stop good. everything. Good, excellent. Thank you. Very good. And uh, one more thing. I see those pipes up here. Um, what are these here, uh, Chief? George, what are those things up here that I see? Ah, this pipe? Yes. It's for uh, water spray system. Okay. Okay, so fire, we activate the water and uh, cover all area of money. Okay, so this is basically protecting the fire, keeping it inside this area and protecting the firemen or whichever crew is behind this, um, behind this water curtain system uh, to stay well clear and not be affected by the fire. Okay, um, what is this pressure relief here, this, um, this valve, there's a valve there I see. Yes. What is this? It's in the case that uh, pressure increases too much in the uh, side, uh, pressure will uh, release. How much is the pressure? Uh, more than uh, 10 bars. More than 10 bars, okay. And what will happen here? It will send the uh, the vapor? The or vapor coming back to the... To the tanks? To the tanks, yes. It's going back to tank 2, two. and 3. Okay, great. So, in case now we say we had an issue with the ESD valve, is there a way to operate the ESD valve locally? Yes. Can you please show us? Yes. Well, there is a 
central deck of the boat. Yeah. We uh, engage the valve. Okay. Then we need to set uh, three valves. And we unscrew with Allen key. Yes. We uh, we open bypass, close uh, two inlets. Okay. And uh, we can operate uh, manually. All right. Okay. So that will be a good uh, a good uh, episode for the future. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So you promised to show me. Yes. No problem. Okay. So I will leave this one for another time. So Ivan, what is this thing here? It looks like a shower. What's the purpose of this? In case that we have a cargo spill. Yes. And uh, coming uh, on our body or our equipment. Okay. We can uh, fast open to try to remove uh, cargo as fast as possible. Okay, I understand. Great, great. Thank you very much. So another time. Okay. So guys, thank you very much. Uh, did you, is there any thank questions you. to uh, make to the, uh, to the officer? Do you want to ask any questions? This, uh, Jeffrey? this is a special tools for this. Yes. Manual bags should always be here. Yes. What are they? The, the Allen the keys. And the Correct. We always have a spare one here. Okay. Any questions? Kostadin, yeah. you're okay? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Well, guys, thank you for watching today's episode in regards to draining and purging procedures of the cargo manifolds. I believe from this video we have managed to cover all the important items which somebody needs to know when joining an LNG ship. So here you can find in this episode uh, I have put uh, the chapters on the water spray system, on the safety relief valves and uh, I have also added in regards to the dry powder uh, system and the uh, fixed water, water spray system which we have on board which I have made some good videos out of them so you can have a look and also review. Don't forget that all that I'm talking about comes out from the IGC code which I carry with me, this is the new edition, which I carry with me uh, since 2020, the new edition, and prior to that I had the old one, and um, yeah, has been working out good for me while reading, so whoever is out there and has the uh, ability can download the, uh, the um, book online, and or he can buy it if he wants it in hard copy, and can review uh, about the uh, codes which is has to do with our ships LNGs and of course LPG carriers so um, if you like today's episode please don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a comment below and feel free if there's something which uh, you saw that you didn't like or if there's something that you liked uh, write it down and of course I am open for new content creation so please don't forget to write a positive comment, whatever you think in, is in your mind in regards to LNG, just write it down, or a ship, so write it down and I will try to come back to you and see if I can do it. So next episode will come next Saturday, I hope you enjoy, till next Saturday, don't miss my content on this channel and uh, have a look as much as possible on the videos which may assist you out during your uh, maritime career. So thank you for watching once again, stay safe, safe seas to all of you sailing out there and catch up next uh, Saturday. Bye bye.